In last lecture, we have talked about uh, memory again, and also have briefly mentioned ASCII encoding. So what to take from the previous lecture is that everything what you can see are binary data and the text you see is just some type of encoding. It can be ASCII encoding or it can be uh, UTF encoding and so on. Okay, let's continue in uh, this lecture. I would like to show you one more example of uh, storing uh, data into the memory and then we can continue with our smart contract, our faucet smart contract. Okay, so let's say here in the Remix and uh, let's work on our test function. What I will do here as the example, I will store here different uh, free memory pointer. So free memory pointer is set to be at the position 0x90. Let's store here at a different position and I will store here D2. That should be position of the 210th bit. Let's verify it. So let's go to hexadecimal. Let's get here D2 or 0xD2, it doesn't really matter. Okay, convert it and you will see it's a 210 uh, bit, bit. So here we'll be storing our values uh, in, the, in the memory, our array items. Okay, uh, let's see how it will look. Uh, let's save it, let's of course compile it. Go to compiler, compile, uh, go to previous, uh, to deploy, the deploy menu, let's clear your previous contract, deploy and call now function test. And don't forget to provide a value because that's what we are specifying. Uh, let's uh, create a transaction. So click here on a test and here is the, the your transaction. Let's click here debug because I, will, I want to see what I have in the memory. So click debug and please let's click on this line here on data. So the last line, so memory will be already set. Click here data and let's step into the next debugger, debugger like this. And now you can see your memory and here are your values. You can see the value one is now here. All right, the value two is here and value three is here. So you can see it's not in the end, but it's somewhere here on the beginning. So why why is that? Uh, this uh, like this because I am not uh, storing this in the offset of 32 bytes, okay? Because usually it would specify, I would like to store the value of the 0x90 or 0xe0 and so on, but I, I specified my offset somewhere in the middle or somewhere in the beginning of this offset. Okay, I'll actually have a draw here so it's more clear what's happening here. Let's inspect it on this value one, for example, here. Okay, so uh, what are my what are my byte offsets? So here we are starting. Here is starting my 16th uh, byte offset. So here it's uh, from a 16 to 32, right? So what you see here. So I will write here, this is a 16th. Okay, so 16th is 32 byte offset. Here is 48. Okay, here is uh, 50 or 60, 64. Uh, here is uh, seven, uh, here is uh, plus 16, here is 80. Here is 80, here is a 96, here is a 112, 112, you can see incrementation of the 16 bytes. Okay, 112, 128, uh, 140, uh, uh, 144, okay, 160, 160, 160, uh, 176, 176. Uh, here is the offset of 192. Here is the offset of 208. Here is the offset of 204. Here is the offset of 200. For the, and I think now we can stop. Uh, we can stop here. Let's take a look at the offset of two hundred eight. We we have specified that we are storing it two hundred ten, right? So that's uh, two hundred ten. So that's a D two in the hexadecimal. So here is a two hundred eight, and these two bytes, they are saying this is offset of two hundred nine, because these two hexadecimal characters specifying one byte, so there is a 209 in this first position. The second position here is a 210. Okay, so we are storing it here. We are starting our offset here, of the first item of 210. That's where, that's where we are storing the uh, free memory, memory pointer. So free memory pointer is pointing here. Here's a 210, I hope it's visible for you. 210, 
and now we are taking offset of 32 bytes. So 32 bytes, so here is a 16, 16 plus under 16. You can see it's exactly in the 32 byte offset. So here, okay, exactly in the 32 byte offset. Okay, so everything is matching. Here is a here is is the first item. The second item is again in the offset of 32 bytes. So oops, here is again we're going 32 bytes offset. So you can see here. The number of two is exactly 32 bytes away. So here is a 32. But offset here is number two and the three will be there again in 32 byte offset. So you can see here, as you have it, starting from here at the zero position, you are going to 16 bytes to the uh, to the right. And here's the first offset byte, zero X10, which is a uh, 16 bytes. Okay, here's a 32 and so on and so on. Until you will reach the 200, uh, and until you will reach 208 and uh, then you will just count two bytes to 210 and then 32 byte offset where you will store your value. So basically you are storing your val value here in this offset of bytes. Okay, like this. So basically the offset of your bytes you are storing is uh, 209, and so this, this offset here, as you can see. Okay, so this is the offset of bytes you are storing your value. This is the chunk of bytes here. 32, I hope it's visible for you, but you got a point, right? So here is a, here we are starting, here is a free memory pointer is pointing here. We are taking the chunk of 32 bytes and we are storing this value there. Okay, one, 32 bytes away, the value two. Okay, so that's what I want to show. We have any questions? Keep uh, asking, of course, if something is not clear. Uh, we will leave it here. I guess we have covered quite a lot of topics and uh, we went really into the details of the memory. So we'll leave it here and let's continue with our house smart contract in the next one. Cheers.